Morse function redirects here. In another context, a Morse function can also mean an anharmonic oscillator see Morse potential. In mathematics, specifically in differential topology, Morse theory enables one to analyze the topology of a manifold by studying differentiable functions on that manifold. According to the basic insights of Marston Morse, a typical differentiable function on a manifold will reflect the topology quite directly. Morse theory allows one to find CW structures and handle decompositions on manifolds and to obtain substantial information about their homology. Before Morse, Arthur Cayley and James Clerk Maxwell had developed some of the ideas of Morse theory in the context of topography. Morse originally applied his theory to geodesics, critical points of the energy functional on paths. These techniques were used in Raoul Bott's proof of his periodicity theorem. The analog of Morse theory for complex manifolds is picard lefschetz theory. Topic: <laughs> Basic concepts. Consider, for purposes of illustration, a mountainous landscape M if f is the function M R display style M to mathbound R, sending each point to its elevation, then the inverse image of a point in R display style mathbound R is a contour line, more generally a level set. Each connected component of a contour line is either a point, a simple closed curve, or a closed curve with a double point. Contour lines may also have points of higher order, triple points, etc., but these are unstable and may be removed by a slight deformation of the landscape. Double points in contour lines occur at saddle points, or passes. Saddle points are points where the surrounding landscape curves up in one direction and down in the other. Imagine flooding this landscape with water. Then, the region covered by water when the water reaches an elevation of A is F minus 1 minus infinity A display style F caret minus 1 inf T A or the points with elevation less than or equal to A. Consider how the topology of this region changes as the water rises. It appears, intuitively, that it does not change except when it passes the height of a critical point, that is, a point where the gradient of f is zero that is the Jacobian matrix acting as a linear map from the tangent space at that point to the tangent space at its image under the map f does not have maximal rank. In other words, it does not change except when the water either 1 starts filling a basin, 2 covers a saddle a mountain pass, or 3 submerges a peak. To each of these three types of critical points, basins, passes, and peaks also called minima, saddles, and maxima one associates a number called the index. Intuitively speaking, the index of a critical point B is the number of independent directions around B in which F decreases. More precisely the index of a non-degenerate critical point B of F is the dimension of the largest subspace of the tangent space to M at B on which the Hessian of F is negative definite. Therefore, the indices of basins, passes, and peaks are 0, 1, and 2, respectively. Define M A display style M caret A as F minus 1 minus infinity A display style F caret minus 1 inf T A Leaving the context of topography, one can make a similar analysis of how the topology of M A changes as A increases when M is a torus oriented as in the image and F is projection on a vertical axis, taking a point to its height above the plane. Starting from the bottom of the torus, let P, Q, R, and S be the four critical points of index 0, 1, 1, and 2, respectively. When A is less than F P equals 0, then M A is the empty set. After a passes the level of P, when 0 A F Q display style 0, then M A display style M caret A is a disk, which is homotopy equivalent to a point a zero cell, which has been attached to the empty set. Next, when A exceeds the level of Q, and F Q A F R display style F Q, then M A display style M caret A is a cylinder, and is homotopy equivalent to a disk with a one cell attached image at left. Once it passes the level of R, and F R M A display style M caret A is a torus. A torus, of course, is the same as a torus with a disc removed with a disc a two cell attached.
One therefore appears to have the following rule: the topology of M alpha display style M caret alpha does not change except when alpha display style alpha passes the height of a critical point, and when alpha display style alpha passes the height of a critical point of index gamma display style gamma a gamma display style gamma cell is attached to m alpha display style m caret alpha this does not address the question of what happens when two critical points are at the same height that situation can be resolved by a slight perturbation of f in the case of a landscape or a manifold embedded in Euclidean space, this perturbation might simply be tilting the landscape slightly, or rotating the coordinate system. One should be careful and verify the non-degeneracy of critical points. To see what can pose a problem, let M topic R and let F X X3 then 0 is a critical point of F but the topology of M alpha display style M caret alpha does not change when alpha passes 0 the problem is that the second derivative of F is also 0 at 0 i.e the hessian of F vanishes and this critical point is degenerate note that this situation is unstable by slightly deforming F the degenerate critical point is either removed or breaks up into two non-degenerate critical points Topic. Formal development For a real-valued smooth function f, m r on a differentiable manifold m, the points where the differential of f vanishes are called critical points of f and their images under f are called critical values. If at a critical point b, the matrix of second partial derivatives the Hessian matrix is non-singular, then b is called a non-degenerate critical point, if the Hessian is singular then b is a degenerate critical point. For the functions f x equals a plus b x plus c x two plus d x three plus Display style f x equals a plus b x plus c x caret two plus d x caret three plus c d o t s. From r to r, f has a critical point at the origin if b. Topic zero, which is non-degenerate if c does not equal zero, i.e. f is of the form a plus c x two plus, and degenerate if c. Zero, i.e., f is of the form a plus dx three plus. A less trivial example of a degenerate critical point is the origin of the monkey saddle. The index of a non-degenerate critical point B of f is the dimension of the largest subspace of the tangent space to M at B on which the Hessian is negative definite. This corresponds to the intuitive notion that the index is the number of directions in which f decreases. The degeneracy and index of a critical point are independent of the choice of the local coordinate system used, as shown by Sylvester's law. Topic: <laughs> Morse lemma. Let B be a non-degenerate critical point of F, M R. Then there exists a chart x1, x2, xn in a neighborhood U of B such that x i B equals zero. Display style x underscore i b equals zero. For all i and f x equals f b minus x one two minus minus x alpha two plus x alpha plus 1 2 plus plus x n 
2 display style f x equals f b x underscore 1 carrot 2 c d o t s x underscore alpha carrot 2 plus x underscore alpha plus 1 carrot 2 plus c d o t s plus x underscore n carrot 2 throughout u here alpha is equal to the index of f at b as a corollary of the Morse lemma, one sees that non-degenerate critical points are isolated. Regarding an extension to the complex domain see complex Morse lemma. For a generalization, see Morse-Palais lemma. Topic fundamental theorems A smooth real-valued function on a manifold M is a Morse function if it has no degenerate critical points. A basic result of Morse theory says that almost all functions are Morse functions. Technically, the Morse functions form an open, dense subset of all smooth functions M R in the C2 topology. This is sometimes expressed as a typical function is Morse or a generic function is Morse. As indicated before, we are interested in the question of when the topology of Ma equals F minus 1 minus infinity, a changes as a varies. Half of the answer to this question is given by the following theorem. Theorem. Suppose F is a smooth real valued function on M, A theorem. Suppose f is a smooth real valued function on m and p is a non-degenerate critical point of f of index gamma, and that f p equals q. Suppose f minus one q minus epsilon q plus epsilon is compact and contains no critical points besides p. Then m q plus epsilon is homotopy equivalent to m q minus epsilon with a gamma cell attached. These results generalize and formalize the rule stated in the previous section. Using the two previous results and the fact that there exists a Morse function on any differentiable manifold, one can prove that any differentiable manifold is a CW complex with an n cell for each critical point of index n. To do this, one needs the technical fact that one can arrange to have a single critical point on each critical level, which is usually proven by using gradient-like vector fields to rearrange the critical points. Topic. Morse inequalities Morse theory can be used to prove some strong results on the homology of manifolds. The number of critical points of index gamma of F, M R is equal to the number of gamma cells in the CW structure on M obtained from climbing F. Using the fact that the alternating sum of the ranks of the homology groups of a topological space is equal to the alternating sum of the ranks of the chain groups from which the homology is computed, then by using the cellular chain groups see cellular homology, it is clear that the Euler characteristic chi m is equal to the sum minus 1 gamma c gamma equals chi m display style sum minus 1 caret gamma c caret gamma equals g m where c gamma is the number of critical points of index gamma also by cellular homology the rank of the nth homology group of a cw complex m is less than or equal to the number of n cells in m therefore the rank of the gamma th homology group ie the betty number b gamma m display style b underscore gamma m is less than or equal to the number of critical points of index gamma of a morse function on m these facts can be strengthened to obtain the morse inequalities c gamma minus c gamma minus 1 plus or minus plus minus 1 gamma c 0 b gamma m minus b gamma minus 1 m plus or minus plus minus 1 gamma b 0 m Display style c carrot gamma c carrot gamma minus one pm c d o t s plus minus one carrot gamma c carrot zero g e q b underscore gamma m b underscore gamma minus one m pm c d o t s plus minus one carrot gamma b underscore zero m. In particular, for any gamma element of zero n 
equals dim m display style gamma in zero dots n equals dim m one has c gamma b gamma m display style c caret gamma g e q b underscore gamma m this gives a powerful tool to study manifold topology. Suppose on a closed manifold there exists a Morse function f, m r with precisely k critical points. In what way does the existence of the function f restrict m? The case k equals 2 was studied by Georges Reb in 1952. The Reb sphere theorem states that m is homeomorphic to a sphere s n the case k equals 3 is possible only in a small number of low dimensions, and m is homeomorphic to an Eyal's Kuiper manifold. In 1982 Edward Witten developed an analytic approach to the Morse inequalities by considering the de Rham complex for the perturbed operator d t equals e minus t f d e T F display style d underscore t equals e caret t f de caret t f. Topic: Application to classification of closed two manifolds. Morse theory has been used to classify closed two manifolds up to diffeomorphism. If M is oriented, then M is classified by its genus G and is diffeomorphic to a sphere with G handles, thus if G equals 0, M is diffeomorphic to the two-sphere, and if G greater than 0, M is diffeomorphic to the connected sum of G2 tori. If N is unorientable, it is classified by a number G greater than 0 and is diffeomorphic to the connected sum of G real projective spaces Rp2. In particular two closed two-manifolds are homeomorphic if and only if they are diffeomorphic. Equals. Topic: Morse homology. Equals. Morse homology is a particularly easy way to understand the homology of smooth manifolds. It is defined using a generic choice of Morse function and Riemannian metric. The basic theorem is that the resulting homology is an invariant of the manifold i.e., independent of the function and metric and isomorphic to the singular homology of the manifold. This implies that the Morse and singular Betti numbers agree and gives an immediate proof of the Morse inequalities. An infinite dimensional analog of Morse homology in symplectic geometry is known as Floa homology. Equals. The notion of a Morse function can be generalized to consider functions that have nondegenerate manifolds of critical points. A Morse bot function is a smooth function on a manifold whose critical set is a closed submanifold and whose Hessian is nondegenerate in the normal direction. Equivalently, the kernel of the Hessian at a critical point equals the tangent space to the critical submanifold. A Morse function is the special case where the critical manifolds are zero dimensional, so the Hessian at critical points is nondegenerate in every direction, i.e., has no kernel. The index is most naturally thought of as a pair i minus plus display style i underscore i underscore plus where i minus display style i underscore is the dimension of the unstable manifold at a given point of the critical manifold and i plus display style i underscore plus is equal to i minus display style i underscore plus the dimension of the critical manifold. If the Morse bot function is perturbed by a small function on the critical locus, the index of all critical points of the perturbed function on a critical manifold of the unperturbed function will lie between i minus display style i underscore and i plus display style i underscore plus. 
Morse bot functions are useful because generic Morse functions are difficult to work with. The functions one can visualize, and with which one can easily calculate, typically have symmetries. They often lead to positive dimensional critical manifolds. Raoul Bott used Morse bot theory in his original proof of the bot periodicity theorem. Round functions are examples of Morse bot functions, where the critical sets are disjoint unions of circles. Morse homology can also be formulated for Morse bot functions. The differential in Morse bot homology is computed by a spectral sequence. Frederick Bourgeois sketched an approach in the course of his work on a Morse bot version of symplectic field theory, but this work was never published due to substantial analytic difficulties. Topic. See also Armgren Pitts min max theory, Digital Morse theory, Discrete Morse theory, Jacobi set, Lagrangian Grassmannian, Lustnik Schneelmann category, Morse smale system, Sard's lemma, Stratified Morse theory. Notes <laughs> <laughs>